The PCB board used in this project is sponsored by the PCBA company, which is one of the most experienced PCB and PCB assembly manufacturer. They create high quality PCBs at reasonable prices. The Gerber files of the PCB board used in this project can be downloaded from the PCBA official website. You can find a link in the description. The Internet of Things based fridge or Smart IoT refrigerators are becoming very popular because with the help of a smart IoT refrigerator you can check the temperature, food items, expiry date, door opening and closing status from anywhere around the world using the Wi-Fi technology. In this episode you will learn how to convert any fridge or refrigerator into a smart Internet of Things based fridge or refrigerator using a push button or a limit switch. Note MCU ASP8266 Wi-Fi module, a variable resistor, DS18B21 wire, waterproof digital temperature sensor capable of measuring the temperature from minus 55C to 125 centigrade and a cell phone application designed in Blink. The values are updated every second. The notification messages are sent to the owner each time the temperature increases above or decreases below a certain predefined value which can be adjusted using a variable resistor. Any value between minus 40 and plus 40 can be selected. This limit is specified in the programming which can be changed as per the requirement. A push button or a limit switch can be used with a fridge or a refrigerator to check if the fridge door is opened or closed. If the door remains open for 3 minutes, a notification message is sent to the owner. The 3 minutes delay can be increased or decreased as per the requirement. The notification messages are sent even if the application is running in the background. If in case due to some problem, the Wi-Fi connection is disconnected, a notification message is sent to the owner or supervisor. This project can be easily modified by adding more sensors and some relays for controlling the fridge or refrigerator. In this episode, we will cover number 1. DS18B20 Introduction Number 2. Complete Circuit Diagram Number 3. Interfacing Number 4 Blink application designing and finally number 5 testing. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. One wire temperature sensors like the DS18B20 are devices that can measure temperature with a minimal amount of hardware and wiring. These sensors use a digital protocol to send accurate temperature readings directly to your development board without the need of an analog to digital converter or other extra hardware. You can get one wire sensors in different form factors like waterproof and high temperature props. These are perfect for sensing temperature in many different projects and applications. And since these sensors use the one wire protocol, you can even have multiple of them connected to the same pin and read all their temperature values independently. The DS18B20 waterproof temperature sensor has three wires. The red wire is the VCC wire. The operating voltage is 3 to 5 volts. In my case, I will use 3.3 volts. Yellow wire is the data wire. We usually connect a resistor between the data wire and VCC wire. I will explain this in the circuit diagram. The plaque wire is the ground wire. This wire is connected with a Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module ground. This temperature sensor is capable of measuring the temperature ranging from minus 55 C to 125 centigrade. This is the complete circuit diagram of the Smart IoT refrigerator based on the Note MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module and DS18B20 waterproof one wire digital temperature sensor. 
this schematic is designed in Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make a schematic and PCB then watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description. Let's first of all start with the 5 volt regulated power supply which is used to power up the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. This power supply is based on the famous LM7805 voltage regulator. J1 is the female power jig and this is where we connect a 12 volt adopter, battery or a solar panel. Two 470 microfarad capacitors are connected at the input and output sides of the voltage regulator. A 330 ohm resistor is connected in series with a 2.5 volt LED. This is a current limiting resistor. The output of the voltage regulator is connected with the VIN pin of the Node MCU ASP8266 Wi-Fi module and the ground is connected with the ground. SV1 and SV2 are the female headers. As you can see, a 4.7 kilo ohm resistor is connected between the VCC and data wire. You can also use a 10k resistor. The VCC is connected with 3.3 volts. The ground is connected with the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module ground, while the data wire is connected with the digital pin D4 of the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. The middle leg of the potentiometer or variable resistor is connected with the analog pin S0 of the node MCU ASP8266 Wi-Fi module, while the other two wires are connected with the 3.3 volt and ground pins of the node MCU module. A push button is connected in series with a 10K resistor. This is a pull-up resistor. A wire from the middle of the 10K resistor and push button is connected with the digital pin D0 of the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. While the switch is open, 3.3V is given as the input to the D0 pin which means that the door is open. When the switch is closed which means when the door is closed. Ground will be connected with the D0 pin. So that's all about the circuit diagram. This is the final circuit board manufactured by the PCBUA company. As you can see, the quality is really great. The PCB board file and schematic can be downloaded from our website. As you can see, the orange wire, which is the VCC wire, is connected with the 3.3 volts. The ground wire of the DS18B20 temperature sensor is connected with the Node MCU module ground pin, while the yellow wire which is the data wire is connected with the digital pin D4 of the Node MCU module. Push button is connected with the D0 pin while the variable resistor is connected with the analog pin A0. All the connections are exactly the same as explained in the circuit diagram. Now let's make the cell phone application using the Blink. First of all, open the Blink application. Set the project name is IoT Refrigerator. Click on the Choose Device and select Node MCU. Make sure you set the connection type to Wi Fi. Then click on the Create button. An authentication token will be sent on your email ID, which will be then used in the programming. Simply copy and paste it in the programming. Follow the same exact steps and enjoy the music.
application is ready. Now let's discuss the programming. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure that you download all the necessary libraries from our website electronicclinic.com and also make sure you update the Node MCU board. I will provide a link in the description. This is the authentication token which was sent via email. I simply copied and pasted it over here. This is the name of the Wi-Fi router and this is the password. The data wire of the DS18B20 is connected with the digital pin D4 of the Node MCU module. Then I define two variables of the type float for storing the temperature. A push button is connected with the digital pin D0 of the Node MCU SPA2665 module. This button is used to check whether the refrigerator or fridge door is opened or closed. You can replace this push button with any other digital sensor as per the requirement. These variables are used for calculating the seconds and minutes. This is the predefined value for the refrigerator door. If the refrigerator door is kept open for 3 minutes, a notification message will be sent to the owner or supervisor. Temp F is a variable of the type integer which is used as the flag. This is used to stop the unnecessary repetition. A variable resistor is connected with the airlock pin S0 of the Node MCU module. This is used to set the temperature, while the PTEMP variable is used to store the predefined temperature value which is set using the variable resistor. In the white setup function, the door sensor and the variable resistor are set as the input. Get send data and door sensor functions are the user defined functions which are executed every one second. Then starts the while loop function which consists of only two functions timer.run and blink.run. Get send data is a user defined function. It has no return type and does not take any arguments as the input. The purpose of this function is to read the variable resistor and temperature sensor. First we read the variable resistor. Set the range from minus 40 to plus 40. You can change this limit. Then we read the temperature and send the preset temperature value and the actual temperature sensor value to the Blink application using the virtual pins V6 and V2. Where these values are displayed on the gauges. Next two conditions are used to check whether the temperature value is greater than or less than the predefined value. The door sensor is a user defined function. It has no return type and does not take any arguments as the input. This function is used to check if the refrigerator or fridge door is opened or closed. This condition means if the door is closed, then turn off the door, open LED and turn on the door closed LED and make the seconds and minutes equal to zero. While this condition means if the door is opened, then turn on the door opened LED and turn off the door closed LED and start counting the seconds and minutes. So if the minutes are greater than the P minutes, which are equal to 3 minutes, then reset the seconds and minutes and send a notification message to the owner or supervisor. While these instructions are used to send the current seconds and minutes to the Blink application. The circuit diagram, PCB board file and programming can be downloaded from our website. The link is given in the description. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.